Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the low lack of videos, but there was really just no really news out. Um, if anybody wants me to report or do anything that you guys want me to report on, just send me uh, just comment down below of what you want me to, you want me to dissent, or want me to review, Twitter, locals, or you can even email me and I will do those reviews. But as of today, we might be a healthy dose of news. We'll see. Anywho. This is a little bit older, about a year out, but it seems that this needs to point out exactly on what is going in today's society, what's going on in LA, and the actual potential damage of what people vote for and what they get. Now, I'm mean, obviously, I'm not going to have no sympathy for this person, obviously. The daughter of this situation deserves all the sympathy in the world. Unfortunately, it is the mother that causes the damage. So... Without further ado, you guys are going to see the damage that these policies take place, the, restore, the actual justice that was been handled, and the policies that you these people want to enact. Take a look at this video. We're going to be going over it every, bit by bit, so you don't want to miss it. Yes, and right now she is struggling with PTSD after she was stabbed by another 13-year-old girl. She fought for her life, and now she is fighting for justice. You're watching a fight caught on cell phone video between two 13-year-olds. Caught on cell phone video between two 13-year-olds. Pay close attention to the girl wearing the black jacket. She pulls a knife out of her back pocket and stabs and slashes Eliciana Valdez. Is at the park? Couldn't believe her eyes. Are you stabbing my daughter? As Eliciana was on the ground bleeding, her biggest fear was losing her life. Not being able to to ever go out with my family again. Not being not being able to like see another another day. So here we have a 13 year old intentionally stabbing another 13 year old, uh, and it was just a fight. You're gonna be kind of surprised on what kind of f the fight broke out over and the actual issues that proclaim that seem to be you know that that all this stuff happens afterwards. Now. You're going to hear me obviously complain about the mother and probably much lay into the mother for for actual legitimate reasons. This is the reason why kids suffer at the hands of their parents because at the end of the day, kids look up to their parents. And that being said, uh, if kids look up to the parents, it's you're up to guide them the correct way. And then also, I would even go to far as say, is your own voting decisions will also lead to your kid having to your kid, society, community, having to suffer through those consequences we all when we all do a certain judgment or a vote or what have you or make a decision we have to there are going to be consequences of those actions and these are going to be the actual consequences of them and it's unfortunate because as you see in the video there that this that this girl obviously what you're going to also find out is legitimately demented is stabbing this other 13 year old girl over a ludicrous reason <laughs> well you're going to find out the more reason because it, it gets even more insane here she was uh, stabbed uh, three times uh, and slashed once on her left arm. Her, um, uh, the puncture wounds uh, punctured her liver, her kidneys, her diaphragm, and her pericardial sac. Those injuries caused internal bleeding. Doctors had to immediately operate on Eliciana. For a year and a half leading up to the stabbing, Eliciana says she had been the victim of bullying and stalking by the same girl who attacked her. It's almost like a lifetime movie. The drama was all over. Of the boy across the street, she thought we were dating, which we weren't, we were just friends. So as you see, this girl nearly lost her life. It was a very traumatic experience for her. She seems to even have PTSD in this instance, and it is not good. Now, these, uh, the, as I would say, is that normally when we want to, when we look at kids, we look at kids as being mostly innocent or um, kids that are not bad or cannot be bad. Uh, but it's it does turn out the case that kids can be bad. Obviously, kids may have to be treated in a little bit different in society because of you know um, the frontal cortex is not fully developed and stuff like that. But when we have consequences or when they commit severe acts of crime such as this, then you would have to go out and specifically uh, 
uh, do punishment on this child. She should easily be uh, uh, charged for attempted murder. Um, if anything, pre, uh, first degree murder, murder, because you'll see more of what I will show you of, of how bad this really is. It doesn't seem to stop at this point to where we have to keep on treating everybody nicely. So it, this is the problem. We need to treat kids as kids when it's rightfully so. But there's a, some point where it crosses a line to where if it's actual severe violence such as this, I think maybe being held as an adult is one, is one thing. If you're attempting to murder and stuff like that, your ability to rational, rationalize between right and wrong should still be there. There are antics that teenagers or kids that will do will still be, you know, stupid, but there is still a level of right or wrong. Now, when you're grooming somebody, it's, compl it's different in that aspect because you're trying to teach them the way. This is the reason why it's such a huge problem with kids. But this is a massive problem here to where we have a kid actually trying to commit murder. <laughs> so this is a problem. And we have here George Gascon, which you see right here. He's the actual problem of this as well. He didn't do justice. He let this kid go. And it was, apparently, the perpetrator was the victim. Even though the victim in this re real case ended up getting stabbed three times, had to go through major surgery, and even a heart surgery at the age of 13 because some lunatic 13-year-old wanted to end her life. It's insanity, isn't it? There's more to come because it still gets worse. On social media, the girl was relentless, enlisting her friends to also insult Eliciana. She called me ugly, fat, uh, she talked about my grandma, said my grandma's burning in hell, and um, F my dead grandma. At first I was just like, ignore it, ignore it, you know, you're gonna have haters, she's jealous, you know, just uh, block her or create a new account. The girl posted this message to music and tagged the boy at the center of this feud. It just makes me think even more that she's crazy, that she needs help, like mental help. So not only did this girl attack this 13 year old but not only this did she also uh but she also went out and after the attack that she thought that she killed someone she posted it to the person that she liked to the boy that she liked and said if it was you if, if she would love you more if she would if you if you some if he would love her more if she killed someone for her, for it the in absolute insanity. So obviously we have premeditated uh, murder here. Th this this is quite obvious. You can't get more premeditated than this. I mean, I mean, possibly you could, but I mean, the the judges are very unlikely. You have you have it to where she's bullying, she's bullying the girl constantly, doing all these threats, and then proceeds to do the said threats that she was acting on. Then four goes out and pose, uh, exposes herself celebrating the fact that she thought she killed someone for the guy that she liked. This one, this thirteen-year-old girl is an absolute bloody lunatic, and we again have Gascon here, letting her just be out. It's absolute insanity. This is what we. This is what they voted for, people. But it's still uh, funny enough, guys. As bad as this is. It still gets worse. The 13-year-old girl was arrested and charged with one misdemeanor count of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of electronic harassment against a minor. Cassandra received this email from the prosecutor stating, We filed appropriate charges on this case considering George Gascon's new emphasis on restorative justice as guided by the science and data. The final outcome? probation for Eliciana's attacker. What were you hoping the punishment would be? Uh, more than probation. Cassandra is conflicted. She believes in restorative justice, but... As a community activist, I fought with organizations to change the laws. And when I was fighting for these laws to change for these young people, uh, never did we intend for somebody to commit premeditated attempted murder at 13 years old and get completely away with it. We 
So yes, now you're gonna hear me lay into the mother. The mother has caused damage to her own her to her own daughter. She is the cause of her own daughter's well-being, and she is also would be the cause of any future damage that would that happened. I do not feel empathy for. I feel empathy for the for the daughter. I feel bad for the daughter that she has to suffer other than the mother's horrible decision making and stupid acts that led to her daughter's downfall in this instance. You, you, mother, have are actively seeing the stupidity of your actions and why it's horrible to enact on these things. You are a Democrat because I know the way you vote and you cause this damage onto your daughter and upon the, your community and your society. You have caused all of this. It's like, oh, well, I, it's like, it's like, oh, I wish I could have done more to help my daughter. You did nothing to help your daughter because what you did caused the damage to your daughter. Your idiocy did this. The reason why you think I'm being, oh, you're being too harsh is like, no, 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 no. These people need to be held accountable for their actions. Unfortunately, she wasn't the one really held accountable for her actions. Her daughter was. Her daughter has to suffer for her actions. And again, this will go down to me saying, why is it that majority of these women, or particular women in particular, have to keep on voting for Democrat and these horrible policies that cause damage to people? These are policies that do not help people. It damages. So when we want to put empathy or 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 sadness into it, like sadness into it, let's look at the policies and attack them. And then the people that vote for these call them out. We have to. Now I'm not going to blame the daughter for this because the daughter is suffering due to her own mother's horrible actions and decisions, which led to her downfall, which I've said multiple times already. I do not feel bad for the daughter. I can hardly feel, I feel slight no empathy towards the mother because the mother caused this to happen. We have to see the issues in this. Now, obviously, not all women vote this way. This is obvious. But due to statistics showing, majority of women are voting for democratic policies, especially the younger generation. So the only way, so how do we fix this? We gotta stop this horrible social programming to where it's damaging people because this is a complete insanity. And the the one thing is is that this is, this is pretty much the worst of it all because th the mother caused the damage and we we it, it, it doesn't it, that, that's pretty much the case. Let's finish out the video because it's it's it, as bad as this is it it's, it kind of tears off now because that's pretty much the most damage. Let's continue on. Contacted the district attorney's office, which refused an on-camera interview, as has been the norm. Instead, Alex Bastian, special advisor to the DA, issued the following statement that says in part, In this assault case, the 13-year-old minor had no criminal record. This disposition takes into account the safety of the victim and looks to prevent future harm by ensuring the minor also receives treatment. I am livid because that little girl is running around doing whatever she wants scot-free while my baby girl's home suffering from PTSD, you know, afraid to leave the house, constantly looking out of her window. Are you afraid that she could do it again? Yes, I feel like her being on probation isn't enough. So there you have it. So uh, this, th so this girl, this, this 13 year old <laughs> is essentially going to be uh, is currently a victim. As it says, in this assault case, the 13-year-old minor had no criminal record. So, due to this, since she has no criminal record, uh, they're going to take it into account of the victim and prevent future harm, ensuring the minor also receives treatment. Okay, so the only treatment that this 13-year-old needs is to be put into a jail cell. An actual jail cell. That's the only treatment that this 13-year-old is. And she's not a victim. The victim was the person that got stabbed. It is not the person that did the attack. Alright? This is insanity. And this is all thanks to your to these people's uh, uh, choice of electing these guys. Again, when we want to go down into uh, the mother, I was saying like, oh, uh, the oh, woe oh, is me. No, it's like, you did this. 
You chose these policies, and I'm pretty sure you were fighting people against these policies where you wanted this. You faced the consequences of your actions, and now you're seeing it in true light on how much damage that you're causing. You need to wake up, and I think you finally did, because it took your daughter to be severely almost killed for you to wake up. That is what had what it took you. And the same thing was going to be with the Safety Act, where, or Safety Act, a.k.a. the Purge Law, where it's going to happen in Illinois. They're going to have to wake up and face the realities, where all the, where all the prices, everything is going to start skyrocketing in 2023, may, it'll most likely, uh, definitely 2024, they're gonna face the, rea uh, the the damage that 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 they voted for. These people need to be woken up with harsh reality, and the harsh reality is gonna smack them so hard where it's gonna be death. That's the problem. I wish it wasn't like this, but that's how the world works. When you vote stupidly, when you're ignorant on policies, when you're dumb to do things like this, you face the major consequences. And unfortunately, when you have 55 of the percent of uh, majority of women that vote Democrat, we get these policies. We need to figure out on how we can solve these problems, f figure out how we can make the, vo the woman voter change differently so that way we can fix policies. Because as of right now, we are not heading in the right direction. But again, I think that when they face the horrible realities, especially the one in New York, because they're finally seeing that they're seeing that it, it's not being safe, they're gonna they're gonna wake up, and or unfortunately, it's it won't be good. And well, the other issue is as well, the the, the the daughter the daughter is still in fearful of her life because her attacker is still running around. She can still go out and attack her again. She doesn't even want to go outside because her attacker is roaming around. Is this the society that we want to create to where the the person that the victim that got attacked still has to be in fearful of their life because their perpetrator, their attacker is still roaming around the streets and what have you. That is not the society that we want. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, take care.